What's up? Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, it's August 6th. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you had uh, great weekends. I know I did. Um, don't mind my raccoon eye sunburn. Um, took the Freedom Tops off yesterday and uh, went to took a little quick trip to Michigan. And um, because I'm stubborn, I decided that I wasn't going to wear sunscreen uh, because who does that? Uh, so now I look like this. Um, but we also got a fresh cut. Hope you guys like it. Um, anyway, I wanted to post this uh, video today just kind of talking about my Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's a 2011 JKU uh, Sahara. Um, so I'll talk about that real quick and then really the meat and potatoes of this video is going to be a quick review on my new tires. Um, the Nitto Terra Grappler G2s. Um, I got them about three weeks ago and seeing as my Jeep is my daily driver, I have spent a ton of time on them now and just want to kind of review them for anybody that might be interested in purchasing them. Uh, maybe it'll help you make a decision for or against. So let's dig into it. So this is my 2011 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited uh, Sahara. It is black exterior with uh, the black body color hardtop and the saddlewood interior. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love this color combination. Um, I have never really been a brown leather guy for interior, but Jeep really killed it with the saddlewood. Um, so as far as the exterior of my Jeep goes, uh, nothing too crazy. We redid the headlamps to soft them out for LEDs. And uh, these are pretty cool. I wired them in so that uh, my turn signals will pop up here in this LED bar. And that's also the daytime running. Um, and then down here, we swapped the stock fog lights for LEDs as well. And then this ring is also daytime running. Uh, I absolutely love these things. They are, no pun intended, night and day from what comes stock, uh, at least on the 2011s. I know Jeep has since switched to offering a LED option uh, direct from them. Um, so I've seen those on the road and they're pretty good. Um, but I was working with, you know, the, the old style headlights and, and needed something brighter. Uh, we've got American flag rear tail light covers. Um, I really like those. They're a nice touch personally. Uh, and then just the gas can the gas tank, the, the door. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, there's a lot of things that I'm planning on doing. Uh, at some point I will lift it, uh, but right now I didn't necessarily see a reason to do that. Um, so I went with the biggest tires I could without having to, to lift her. Um, so what we ended up with are the Nitto Terra Grappler G2s in size 285 by 70 uh, by 17. They are the equivalent to 33s and they are 11 and a half inches wide. So they're about an inch and a half wider than the stock Bridgestone Duelers that the Saharas come with. Um, and then they are sitting on MB352s in size 17. Uh, guys, I love this whole setup. I love these rims. I saw them and I immediately knew they were the ones I wanted. Um, and then the tires are just, they've been awesome. They've, they've just been great. They're not really much louder than the stock tires. Um, I would probably attribute that extra no road noise to 
the fact that they are a little bit wider. Um, you know, I drive this thing every day. I've probably put about 1,200 miles on these tires already. Um, and I have no complaints. I, I don't find myself having to turn up the radio any more than I normally would to um, attribute for additional road noise. Um, just want to get a close-up of these treads. They are spectacular. I mean, they look pretty mean um, and they, they hold up great. I find that I do get a little bit more hum from them uh, at higher speeds, probably 70, 75 miles an hour. They do hum a little bit more than I think the thinner stock tires would. Um, but like I said, it's not enough where I have a problem, a huge problem with it. Um, the wheels are again MB wheels uh, the 352s and 17 inch they have a t negative 12 millimeter offset so let me get to the side they do stick out a little bit um, you know part of that is the offset the other part of that is going to be the wider tire um, I don't I don't have a problem with it um, please be aware if you go with this type of setup you are going to get mud on the side of your car because they do stick out. Um, for me, I don't have a problem with it, but you may. If you do, then you know you might want to consider a different offset. Um, the biggest thing I want to talk about is rubbing. And do they rub inside the car? And they don't. They sort of. That's kind of a lie. I'll tell you the truth. The truth is, I get a little bit of rubbing on the rock plate underneath the front bumper. I don't think you can, I'm not going to be able to really get it very well, but a little bit of rubbing on the plate, and I got to tell you, it's, you know, not even a half an inch. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that plate off, grab a Dremel, and, uh, and just shave it off a little bit to... To make it work um, otherwise they fit perfect um, let me see if I can get in here and kind of show you see on this side they don't really oh there we go so they rub just a little bit um, they're not touching here because they're not turned all the way but it's very very slight uh, and for me not a huge issue it's a pretty easy fix so, you know, 33s are probably going to be the biggest you can go on stock suspension. Um, I've heard of guys going to 35s. I don't know. You know, I thought about it, but for me, being stock, I didn't want to risk it. Um, and they've, it's been terrific. Um, you know, they fill in real nicely. They fill that well in real nicely, and I've just been I've been really happy with them. They hold up really well. The traction's really good. Um, like I said, I, I didn't want to take too much time, but I did want to just give you guys a review of what I thought and what my experience has been with them. In case you are looking for a new tire and want to go either something a little bit more aggressive looking little bit wider and maybe you're between these and another brand um, you know maybe I can help you decide one way or the other all right guys so that's it for today um, I guess I should address the elephant in the room I'm so sorry that it's been like three weeks since I posted a video uh, it has just been real crazy I work full-time um, so it's just it's been nuts it's been absolutely mad uh summer is you know busy season for us so uh, i apologize i'm gonna do way better and i'm gonna try to post way more often um if you have any comments suggestions below or heck if you even just want to tell me like what you think i should do next on the jeep um or 
if you hate the video or the tires, let me know. Um, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, big shout out to John Snetty and DJ Fay Chaser because they are self-proclaimed my biggest fans. Um, I think probably my only fans. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, but they saw them last night and I uh, just wanted to give them a big shout out. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Like I said, sun's getting ready to uh, go down in a little bit. Uh, but it is a beautiful day. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a great week. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.